President Obama and the United Nations have been accused of using mind control techniques in order to manipulate and brainwash the American public. Now all this sounds a bit crazy right? Well let's have a look at the evidence. On the 11th of October Senate Majority Leader Chip Rogers told Republican lawmakers that Obama was plotting a diabolical conspiracy. Now during a meeting of Senate Republicans at the state capitol a presentation was made by a former Tea Party activist who claimed that Obama is using techniques from the Cold War era to push a United Nations environmental program called Agenda 21. Now Agenda 21 is pretty scary. It's designed to encourage the taking of private land by federal, state and local governments to create what they call sustainable developments and it would also force mandatory contraception as a means of curbing population growth. A political researcher called Seth Clark attended what he thought was an open meeting. Now he recorded almost an hour of a four hour meeting before being asked to leave. According to Mother Jones the meeting consisted of a PowerPoint presentation followed by a 90 minute screening of the anti-Agenda 21 documentary Agenda Grinding America Down. Now Tea Party activist Field Searcy says that use of the Delphi technique is widespread and is mainly used to marginalise opponents. The Delphi technique was developed by the Rand Corporation during the Cold War and it was also funded by the US Air Force as a mind control technique. Basically the goal of the Delphi technique is to lead a targeted group of people to a predetermined outcome while keeping the illusion of being open to public input. Now this isn't one particular technique but a wide range of techniques. Now here's a, a quick example of how it works. Say you have a facilitator who provides participants with initial questions then collects the answers and filters out irrelevant information. This process avoids um, groupthink and the problems with group dynamics. Now the facilitator then creates a, se a second round of questions and sends them to the participants and only this time the participants can see uh, information from others and have the opportunity to change their answers anonymously. Now this works because in face-to-face -face meetings people tend to stick with their originally stated opinion to avoid losing face but with the Delphi technique they can change their mind at any moment. Well that's about it from me for today. Um, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Rinf Digizign for more updates and videos.